Hello everyone and welcome to the Aviation with Eddie channel. Now in today's video we're going to be flying to Edinburgh. Now it is the day of departure as well. I booked these tickets last, well I booked a ticket last night. So I turned 16 last November. I went solo but I haven't soloed on an airline yet. So I thought it would be a fun experience. It was a 80 return I believe. But I looked at flights to Edinburgh later on. And um, they were a lot more than like 120 in the summer. Which does make sense. But in the end, after contemplating it all day, I just decided to book it because you only live once. Um, however, it's going to be gusting 45 in Edinburgh. Our diversion should be Manchester. It might always change. If it's windy in Manchester as well, then you might just fly back to Heathrow. It says the flight time's 1 hour 25, but uh, as I know, it's probably going to be just about an hour. And then we get a connection back, which is uh, an A321neo. I have booked a seat on the way there. I had to change seats because it was a middle seat. For six pounds and then on the way back it was already uh seat 33a and on the way it's 23a anyway it's gonna be a nice day i'm just completing the rest of my homework so i don't have to stress about that tomorrow and uh let's get ready okay so i've got my bag ready this is what i'm gonna be taking just an under on my bag got passport a phone battery pack which is an essential a water bottle and uh, that should be everything for today's flight i've done my best to make him my best friend so after enduring this slow M25, I arrived at T5, uh, got through security in less than 5 minutes which was quite impressive. Considering it's still Easter holidays on a Saturday, I uh, went down only to realise that I didn't fill up my water bottle so I went back up to the water filling station and got a seat. So after getting there about 2 hours early, I had quite a big lunch as I said so I didn't need to get anything. But uh, we, I made my way down to Terminal Alpha 23, which was all the way down the southern end of T5, but it was still T5A, so it was no problem at all. There she is, Golf Echo Uniform, beautiful Bravo, I believe, taking us down to Edinburgh. Automatic and, cross and we began our pushback facing the west, I believe, down to all the way down to 27 right for the taxi. Please note the bag may not inflate. 
You may need to pull on a colour streamer to release your mask. Ensure your own mask is fitted before helping anyone else. Your life jacket is underneath or beside your seat. If required, remove the jacket from its container and pull it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist and tie them securely in a double bow at the side. To inflate, pull the red toggle as shown. The air can be topped up by using this mouthpiece and there is a whistle and a light to attract attention. Do not inflate your life jacket until you're outside the aircraft. Should we need to evacuate, you must move quickly to the closest usable exit, taking nothing with you. Low-level lighting will guide you to an exit. All exits are clearly marked and are being pointed out to you now. Please locate your nearest exit, bear in mind this may be behind you. Opening the doors automatically inflates the evacuation slide. High heel shoes must be taken off as they may tear the slide. Please now check that your table is folded away. Your seat is in the landing position with the armrest down and your table is away. Personal devices must be unplugged and window blinds must be open for takeoff. Please study the safety card in your seat area before we depart. This doesn't contain important safety information, including the brace position. If you have any questions, please ask a member of your cabin crew. I will depart in a westerly direction today before making a right-hand turn to pick up our northbound track. Cruising up to uh, Edinburgh at 30,000 feet and the flying time just around about 55 minutes. Well, we are expecting generally fine flying conditions on the route today, but uh, please do keep an eye on the seatbelt signs throughout the flight with us. Whenever those seatbelt signs are illuminated, do of course return to your seats and fasten your seatbelt securely. Well, we'll get things moving now. I'll come back to you during the cruise with a quick update on the weather to expect up in Edinburgh, the arrival routing and the arrival time. For now, do make yourselves comfortable and enjoy the flight with us. Thank you. touch but I know British show is always does that no matter what uh, package you buy and your seatbelt is securely fastened if you are seated by a window and have lowered the blind please now return this to the open position for landing you may continue to use handheld electronic devices for landing these must be held securely or placed into a pocket
Now the meta earlier or the uh, TAF said that it was going to be gusting 45 so it did start to become bumpy just uh, northeast of uh, Edinburgh over the uh, sea or ocean I believe and then we turned west in it's rather bumpy but then when we got close to the ground uh, it died off a bit.
been seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the signs have been switched off. When it's safe to do so, please take care of opening up head lockers as items have been moved and could up causing injury. You may now make and receive calls as well as use all data services on your handheld delivery. Yeah, that's And an absolutely massive uh, thanks and appreciation to the first officer, the senior first officer, for giving me an Airbus tag, the weather, the cards, and a stick for future pilots. It was honestly such a great touch, and I've never had that before, and it did make the trip memorable. And I will cherish that, so massive thanks to him and the captain. This is a security announcement. Baggage must not be left unattended at any time in any part of the terminal building. An extra hot triple shot. So after disembarking the aircraft, we're then Edmund you just walk straight out into the departures, which I thought I'd have to go back through security because my return flight was at eight o'clock and I arrived just under six. So I decided to stay in the airport, I should have gone out really, but the flight was only from uh, the only bookable flights that weren't uh, like £300, didn't have much of a gap between them, otherwise I would have walked around the perimeter, maybe plane spotted or even go into Edinburgh, but unfortunately I didn't get the opportunity to, so I just went to the Burger King, £9 for chips, a burger and a drink is mad expensive, but uh, it is what it is, and I got a book for my parents. Okay, so boarding didn't take too long. They just checked passports and the tickets. However, they did priority, then they just said all passengers come up, so everyone was trying to get to the front. Whereas in Heathrow, they did it by group, which was actually quite good. And here's the A321 Neo just pushing back now. Golf November Echo Oscar Sierra with the old cabin, I believe, which wasn't very comfortable. The uh, armrests were really close together, but uh, it was a beautiful sunset and a beautiful departure to finish off the trip.
service and you have a food allergy, probably get information on specific allergens on today's flight, please contact any member of the crew. For those of you seated in Club Europe, who offer your choice of meal and drink to the bar, then our Euro Traveller cabin would offer you a complimentary bottle of water and a snack. This will then be followed by our Highland Cafe by on board service. We invite you now to make yourselves at home and enjoy your hospitality. If there's anything that we can do to make your journey more comfortable, please do let us know. Thank you. the beautiful sunsets we were also offered again water sweet or savory snacks of course i picked the corn snacks i don't even know what they're called but uh we started our southerly turn down to heathrow passing over manchester i could actually see the runways birmingham i believe and then we just uh, went east of london then turned for the ils for runway 27 left we did hit quite a big bit of a uh, wake turbulence on the top of the ils I believe that's what the um, flight deck said, but um, it was like doing a wing wave basically, it was quite fun actually. And then we just made our approach down to Heathrow. And I do apologise for the flickering lights, I, uh, I think it's the LEDs from the Neo maybe that are causing it, but I will try to find and fix that for the next video. And that brings the trip to an end, thank you so much to all the flights crew for making it a memorable trip. And I'll see you in the next video, please do consider subscribing for more travel content like this around popular routes so I can fund them, thank you.